Well, here we are in the middle of spring. The snow is gone and the birds are back. Here are the events for May in Berwick from the pages of the Berwick Bi-Monthly. Learn about square foot gardening at the Berwick Public Library on Wednesday, May 1st at 6 p.m. Square foot gardening uses small raised beds which are divided into 12 by 12 squares. Gardeners follow a formula for how plants can fit into each square to maximize production and minimize care. Saturday, May 4th, is the second annual Power Wheels race. This is for racers two to eight years old in their own battery-powered vehicles. The track is at Memorial Field parking lot on Sweetser Street. Races begin at 9.30 a.m. A raffle for a brand new Power Wheels vehicle will also be held. Pre-registration is required and includes a t-shirt and keepsake car number. For more information, contact Shannon Rogers at srogers at berkmaine.org. I pushed so hard I got to the metal. To the metal. Thanks to Access Student Volunteers from Noble High School, the swap shop at the Burke Transfer Station will be open on Tuesdays from noon until 1.30 while school is in session. Ross Batchelder is back at the library with a program called Never Too Old, Aging and Creativity. He's an expert. He just turned 80. This all happens on Tuesday, May the 7th at 6 p.m. On Wednesday, May the 8th from 10 a.m. to noon, Join the Great Works Regional Land Trust for a walk in New Chawanek Woods. Register for the walk at gwrit.org slash event. The woods are at 76 Route 236 in Berlin. May the 8th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Noble High School Lecture Hall, the Burke Police Department and MSAD 60 Community Awareness Committee presents Keep Your Family Safe Online, an informative night on digital safety. The presentation and questions and answers will be led by School Resource Officer Milton Fogg. No registration is required to attend. The public is invited to the Burke Public Library for Celebration of Life for Ann Vaughn, artist, lawyer, and former library board member on Saturday, May the 11th, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Burke Public Library. Sunday, May the 12th is Mother's Day. Don't forget. Like I said, it's spring and the birds are back. A day of birding at Tuckahoe Preserve will be led by the Great Works Regional Land Trust on Saturday, May the 18th from 7.30 to 9 a.m. Get up early. Binoculars will be provided, space is limited, and registration is required. Tuckahoe Preserve is at 335 Hubbard Road in Berwick. Also, May the 18th is the date for the Burke Library Association's plant sale. Buy a plant for your house or garden and support the Burke Public Library. Location is in the Burke Public Library parking lot starting at 9 a.m. Get there early to get the good stuff. This month, the library's book discussion group also meets on Saturday, May the 18th at 10.30 a.m. This month's book is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Wednesday, May 22nd at 6 p.m. at the library, another great Maine Speaks program sponsored by the Maine Humanities Council. Topic, Whitewashing the Diseased Ship, New England's Role in the Slave Trade, presented by Meadow Dibble. Here is a listing of the weekly programs at the Burke Public Library. May 23rd and 24th is the third annual Muddy Mile Fun Run. This exciting fundraiser is hosted by the Burke PTO. The run is at the Eric Knowlton School on Thursday, May the 23rd, and at the Vivian Hussey School on Friday, May the 24th. Thursday, May 23rd, the Sad 60 School Board Budget Hearing will take place at 6.30 at the Noble High School Auditorium. Residents from the three towns in the Sad 60 District, Lebanon, North Burke, and Berwick, will meet and vote on the proposed school budget. Monday, May 27th is Memorial Day. Members of American Legion Charles S. Hatch Post Number 79 and Auxiliary Unit Number 79 will observe Memorial Day with a parade starting at 11 o'clock at the Burke Town Hall. 
The parade will stop at Lord Cemetery for a service and will continue to the Summersworth Berwick Bridge for a ceremony for those lost at sea. The parade will continue at Sullivan Square with a memorial service honoring Berwick veterans who lost their lives in the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, World War I and II, and the Korean and Vietnam Wars. The guest speaker will be Post Commander Brian English. In the case of inclement weather, there will be an indoor ceremony at 11 o'clock in the Berwick Town Hall Auditorium. On Wednesday, May the 29th at 6 p.m. at the Berwick Public Library, Tim O'Brien, author of a fascinating and original guide to Maine called Maine Roadshow, will talk about fun facts and more in this colorful presentation of his book. Here is a listing of the May meetings at the Town Hall. Save the dates! Berwick Community Garden opening day is Saturday, June the 1st. The garden will have 60 raised beds, which will include accessible garden beds. Plots are available to the public by application. The annual Berwick Car Show is Sunday, June the 2nd in Sullivan Square, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Don't miss this incredible event filled with cars, trucks, bikes, food, t-shirts, music, and lots of fun hosted by the Charles S. Hatch Post 79 American Legion. The Burrock Business Directory is now live on the town website. This directory is an incredible resource for finding the service or product you're looking for right here in town. Support our local businesses and check it out. There is a rave alert system for York County. This is a reverse 911 application that allows citizens to sign up for emergency alerts Add Berwick as your location to receive Berwick-specific alerts. Go to yorkcountymaine.gov slash stay dash informed. Subscribe to the Berwick Bi-Monthly today. Keep up with all the events and meetings in the town of Berwick. The Berwick Bi-Monthly link is on the town of Berwick's homepage, www.berwickmaine.org. You can subscribe by email to the Berwick Bi-Monthly from that page. The Berwick by Monthly is sponsored by Envision Berwick. In ending, I'm Lisa Eustace, and we are celebrating one year of the video version of the Berwick by Monthly. And I'm still doing it. Have a great day.